Alright, hello there, this is Octagonal Paul of Patient 38, and today we're going to be playing on Badges, um, Patreon server, which I have named The Badgelands. Now, I haven't joined this yet, so I don't know quite what to expect uh, when we first start, so let's get in there and have a little look around. Ooh, <laughs> starting right on a fence. Hello! <laughs> There's J H Elition. J H E Elition? J H Elition? I don't know. He's got a face. Nice one. Uh, so, this is. I've watched a few of the videos on this. Uh, this is going to be the portal room, which will take you to different areas of the world, as you can see. So, that's all going to be quite interesting. We've already got a beacon here. <laughs> There's my first achievement on the surfer taking inventory. Right, let's walk down the path, get into the spawn village. Oh, there's some rain. <laughs> Good beginning. Good start. So, we need to make ourselves a little home here in the village. So first, I need to gather me some supplies so that we can survive. Free poo blocks. Free saddles. Thank you for a saddle. All right, all right. You are here now. You're now you're there. Indeed, I'm gonna wander out a little bit so I can get some supplies without ruining all of this lovely village and without stealing anyone else's stuff. I know it's free stuff on blocks and things, but I am gonna do this legit. I have nothing. I've begun with nothing, and now I'm going to hopefully carefully because it's night time collect some items. So. I got the um, got the info to get on here yesterday, and then luckily, as luck would have it, um, I got the details just before having a day off work. So I've got a day off today, so I thought I would check the server out um, and get building, get doing some useful stuff on it. I've got a few things in mind for what I'd like to build on here as a as a wee progress. Oop. But um nothing set in stone yet. I've got a couple of ideas for some cool buildings that I'd like to do. There's um the server's gonna be run in an interesting way, I think. Which is that there is gonna be a survival area where, you know, everyone can build stuff in the normal kind of way. Um, oh, there's stone and stuff over there. Or, I could just go here and get some. That will probably be more useful. We'll just get our basic starting off tools here. To make it all a bit easier to go. So yeah, there's going to be a survival area on the server. And there's also going to be a creative area for those who want to build big cities, big builds. Awesomeness like that. And I'm all for that. I think that's awesome. Because you don't... It'll be nice to have that crossover of people making these awesome massive builds. I'm sure there'll be some very skilled people on here doing some really cool stuff. As well as, um, you know, your, your sort of normal survival thing going down as well. Oh, I need to make some more sticks. That would help. Alright. Twelve sticks. Oh, this is a good start to the server here. Um, X. I got got overexcited by the prospect of an axe there. It, it's been very excitable kind of year at the moment, especially at work and things as well. Uh, what else do I need? Um, <laughs> go for a shovel, I suppose. Sweet, that's about all I need for right now. We've got some materials. Um, yeah, it's, it's an exciting time of year right now, isn't it? With the uh, run-up to Christmas and all that sort of stuff. Um, recently at work, I just work in a little shop, really. Let's block that water. Recently, we've had Black Friday, which I'm sure is something very familiar with the American people who may be watching this. But over here in the UK, <laughs> where I live, you know, that that weird little old island with the Queen and uh, taxis 
and post boxes and Doctor Who and crumpets and bourbons and whiskey and Cadbury's chocolate and uh, the mini car and pound coins and yeah you probably get the picture by now and the Royal Mail anyway yeah I'll be quiet that place that weird little place called the UK which is full of so many brilliant people um, ooh, that's quite a dangerous hole there let me get some more tree wood that place is now slowly turning into the US bit by bit um, I don't know if people have noticed we've, we've got a lot of American TV on here now we've had all of the Friends series um, we haven't actually had Breaking Bad that's been a Netflix thing presumably because uh, no TV channel was willing to take the risk or the amount of money it maybe would cost to get the license to show it I don't know but yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of Americanisms. We've even had Oreos in the last few years, which is excellent, because I love Oreos. And some of our supermarkets have started selling a lot of US supplies and things like that. Well, we have tons of wood now, and I could also make me a furnace. I really need to get some food. <laughs> that would be quite useful. What am I doing? No idea. Let's get some food on the go. Now, sheep should drop stuff, right? They do! I have some foods. What is it called? Raw mutton. I knew that. I know all kinds of things about this game. Because, well, I should do, really. I do play it quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, Americanisms in the UK. We now have Black Friday, which is... Ooh. It's not ooh. Oh, the pig is ooh. Because he's given me food. And there's another one. Just chilling in the corner here. How very strange. Now Black Friday is kind of a strange thing to me. A strange idea. I guess it's just it happens after Thanksgiving in America. I think the day after if I'm correct, from learning things about this. That's a big square. I guess someone's building out a basement or something there. Maybe some strange base. Let's get some sand. Oh, actually, let's leave this bit. This bit's quite nice. Although I suppose I could get a few bits and make some glass. Yeah, that, that doesn't look too ruined, does it? <laughs> That's fine. So the idea... Sorry, I, I tend to ramble a little bit. I also need coal. There's probably some in this mountainous area over here. The, the idea <laughs> of uh, Brown Thursday is um, to for the shops to encourage tons of people into their shops and sell loads of things at extreme bargain prices. Like, really, just insane prices. I don't know how they make money at all. I really need some coal. And some stone would be very useful, in fact, as well. So let's start a little bit of a mining operation here. really need some coal to cook my food up so that I'm not hungry. So they sell loads of stuff really cheap, and then you get sort of stampedes of crazy people wanting to buy, you know, like, discount price TVs, electrical goods, um, lemons, that kind of stuff. Just the kind of thing they really don't need for quite a bit cheaper than normal, which is fair enough. Um, even websites take part in this as well, like Amazon, I think. Uh, Argos, UK website, actually crashed <laughs> from my herd because of the amount of traffic they were getting. Come on, I need some coal so I can light up the screen for you. So you can see the action. Witness the action here. Screw this. I'm digging down. <laughs> And so what's been happening is, in the shop I was working, we actually started... Yes, cool! We started Black Friday on Thursday, with all of our sale prices and things. I work in a, a little sort of high street store. Um, we sell all kinds of goods, including foods. And so we, we had quite a big discount on Christmas things, like your Christmas cards, crackers... 
uh, wrapping paper, gift wrap, all that kind of thing. Um, we started it on Thursday with, the, as far as I know, the same offers on things as all the other days, and it ended yesterday on Sunday. I'm concentrating. I cannot multitask very well. Sorry about that. We need to cook up some food so that we can do well on this place. Because I'm getting real hungry. <laughs> so, we've done it over the whole weekend and Thursday. And it actually wasn't that busy on Friday. We didn't get many customers coming in, going crazy. There was one, the first lady into our shop, uh, just after we opened, half past eight in the morning. And she came in, and she said, I've been up since 6am waiting for shops to open so I can go about buying my uh, sale items. And <laughs> I thought that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Like, people waking up really early on a Friday. Um, presumably, she didn't have to go to work um, in the daytime anyway. She could have been a night shift worker. Maybe that's why she was up at 6. I don't know. I, I can't really explain any of that. That's probably cooked that stuff up. If I've got some spare gas, I'm going to shove some stone in there. Because we need some smooth stone for what I have in mind in the future. Yeah. Do a little bit of caving here to start with. I know that. I should probably claim my house pretty soon so that I can be all super. <laughs> so yeah, this lady, she comes in. Um, She'd been up for a long time and she comes in and she said, So, uh, what do you have on sale? Obviously, she's expecting the American version of this, where we have massive sales. And as a shop, we don't really sell TVs or anything like that. We're a pretty normal kind of a retailer. There's, there's some cool stuff, but, you know, there's nothing like... There's, there's nothing that really costs much anyway. <laughs> there's no big expensive things that we're going to do deals on. We used to do e-readers, um, but we'd stop stocking them. Um... That's actually what she was after. She was after the Kindle. And she sort of said, uh, do you, d are you selling the Kindle for £50 or something like that? And I said, no, I'm, I'm afraid we don't even stock the Kindle as it is. Ah, oh, first iron. And check this out. Bit of a ravine here. That is pretty excellent be useful to get some iron here, so then we can get things like buckets, and armor, and supreme awesomeness to continue with. So, we didn't have a Kindle. We used to sell sort of our, like a different version, called the Kobo, which is pretty decent actually, but we've stopped stocking it now, so I couldn't even say that we had that instead, unfortunately. Are there, are there monsters around? I haven't seen any yet. There must be some somewhere, surely. But this is a nice start, this ravine here. Ooh, dear! We need to make a little bit of a pick. I'll make another stone one for now. Because that'll be fine. Somehow I used all my sticks on torches. That sort of makes sense, though, really, doesn't it? Uh, there's my cobblestone. Let's get another one on the go, just in case. So, we didn't really have any of the stuff she wanted, so she was like, oh, well, none of the other shops are open. And I was sort of thinking, well, you know, this is the UK, and I don't know what you're expecting exactly, but we don't really do anything big for this whole Black Friday dealio, unfortunately. So she went off on her merry way. Uh, we were one of the first shops to open on the high street, in time-wise, on that day. And so... <laughs> she didn't have anywhere else she could go right at that point, because mostly their shops open at 9, instead of the half past 8 that we were. So I don't know if she went on to find her deals, but not many of the shops were really taking part. I went into uh, a little grocery shop called Iceland, which sells frozen goods, uh, as well as lots of other things, for really good prices. And this was on my lunch break time. And when I went in there, it was absolutely packed, absolutely heaving with uh, customers. I think I'm the first person down here, unless no one decided to light it up. 
so I can gather some good materials. And um, it was absolutely packed in Iceland, this this little shop in the town that I work in. Um, just, um, there were people everywhere, and they were all saying to the uh, the staff that work there, they were saying, oh, what, what are your uh, Black Friday deals? And I felt so sorry for the staff, because they were just like, well, we don't really take part in Black Friday. <laughs> all their things were just a normal price. Um, as far as I could tell. And their normal price is really good. It's They sell stuff for really cheap. They are good people. <laughs> I buy lots of frozen items there. So they're sort of like a discount. Well, not really, but yeah. They sell things at good price, which is very nice of them. And so people were expecting even more from them, which is a little bit rude, really. Poor people. <laughs> and, um, no, not not poor people, but the poor staff that worked there. Uh, I just felt so bad for them. And that meant everyone had to wait in these long, massive lines, because everyone had decided to come in and buy loads of stuff, despite it just being a normal shopping day, for the shop itself, which is kind of weird. <gasps> Gold! Yeah! Now, I don't have a bucket yet, so we're actually going to have to dig down to this. Or... I could actually be sensible. When did I get wool? Oh yeah, from the sheep. That makes sense. Okay. I would quite like this gold. It's not that useful on this server, really, because I don't need, like, golden apples or anything, but we could use it for something, couldn't we? It's, it's a valuable resource. It's a good thing to have. I'd also really like a bucket. That would also be pretty useful here. Oh, I need to make an iron pick. <laughs> Let's make me a little platform here first. There we go. Bit of torch action here, and I need to put this down and make some stuff up. Make some iron to get an iron pick. Uh, ooh, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing at this point? I do not know. So that we can make some things. I also would quite like a bucket. Some redstone over there. Excellent. See, I felt sorry for them because it's not really something they were taking part in. And they were still being forced to deal with all of the customers who did want things. So, the UK public obviously now have definitely taken on the uh, idea of sand is not going to be useful there. Taking on the idea of there being this big sort of discount day, um, lots of adverts about it. Most shops are going pretty crazy, sort of, you know, going, look, we have all of these items that you can get, and they're really cheap, and you can get a TV. And on the news, people were fighting over this stuff. Like, seriously, you know, oops, I've unplugged my laptop. <laughs> Let's plug that back in. And, um, fighting over things like TVs, um, they had on the news, and they were having to get police into the shops to deal with all of this stuff. To, uh, sort it out, basically. And that's awful, isn't it? I mean, that's really terrible. Just, I, I can't believe people. <laughs> people are terrible. People are poo butts. It's a uh, true fact right there. True facts. Let's make a sword as well. With my collection of lovely sticks. I, don't, I never got to use the stone sword. Oh well, never mind. Right, so I've got got my gold. There's more junk up there. I'd quite like to make a bucket. Which I can do. So that we can get some water. And uh, cleanse some of this lava up, really. Let's see here. Well, that's coming from quite high up, actually. There's some more gold over there. I will definitely be grabbing that. I don't mind the concept of Black Friday, but I don't like how people act in it. That is the bit that I'm not pleased with. That shows people as being <laughs> these sort of real animals with uh, their deal hunting and everything. I am not a fan of that kind of thing. And that does seem to be a very American kind of thing, you know, always always hunting out the deals, th using the coupons, they've got these crazy programs on the extreme couponing, and I don't 
want England to turn into that. I've seen what it's like in the US, and I don't think it's the kind of thing that I want our country to be a part of. Sorry, American people who like that very much. I'm sure it's very good for shopping, and I'm all for that. I'm all for getting some bargains, but I don't like how it encourages customers to turn into this unyieldy horde of terror, basically. This whirlwind of um, retail mayhem. It's not good, and it doesn't encourage any goodness at all. Block that off. Um, oh, that, that's where I was going. The gold. The gold! Of course. That's why we're here. Maybe there's some more behind it. Oh, yeah. I came for gold. I got gold. Don't know what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> um, probably nothing. <laughs> but it's nice to have, because we have a little bit of iron now. Not enough for a chest plate, though. So, let's make some legs. What am I doing? <laughs> this is, I tried to drag it and it did not work. In the slightest. But hey, we have legs now. Woo! Good start. Need some more iron now. To make up some other cool stuff. But that is... That's a help. A big help. In our... Did I get my furnace? Yeah, I did. Cool. So, retail therapy. <laughs> But yeah, we, we didn't really get that much custom, actually, in our shop. It was all in Iceland. Um, so, people were sort of wasting their time. Oh, I need to light this up as I go. Now it's just getting really dark. Which is not going to be useful. There's quite a lot of gold around. Not seeing any diamonds. And... Not actually getting much iron, either. But hey, we can still get some useful stuff. Some more lovely gold up here. For me to... Borrow. From the land. I will take nothing but photos. Leave nothing but footprints. And take all of the gold. For my, uh, my own personal use. How much do I have now? Fifteen. Ace. Oh, look, there's emeralds over there. I am definitely going to be having me some of those. Let's see. Oh, I do actually hear a spider now. I think that must be a spider spawner in there. Oh yeah, look, there we go. Spawner. So what are your thoughts? Black Friday, Brown Thursday, Mauve Saturday. We had all the days. It wasn't just a few. Let me get that iron over there. Because as soon as I get full iron armor, the better right about now. Then we'll deal with that little spawner there. Oh, no, I don't need armor to deal with that at all. But, who cares? Now, is this the spawner? Yes, it is. Okay. There it is. Wow, there's loads of them. I'll see cobble. <laughs> oh, this means I can get loads of string. Which I am fine with. I'm quite happy to get loads of string. So we're going to leave this unlit for a minute. Except I'm getting too close. Oi! <laughs> also quite like that chest, actually. <gasps> Three records! Oh my goodness, how good is this? Wow. And some more string. Um, Gunpowder. This is a lot of useful stuff. A saddle. Indeed, a reload. Okay, how much string do I have? 16! Awesome! <laughs> another record! An iron horse armor. You know what, I'll actually take that. <laughs> and another bucket. Sweet, alright, we'll drop the three redstone. Uh, I've already got tons of that. Wheat's useful, so that can go in place of the one wall, which isn't that useful. Uh, more iron. You know what, I'll just get rid of that pig. Tons of records in this place. Hooray. Right, I need to get myself to a a house, really, um, so that we can put all of these supplies somewhere. Right, I am going to wander to the uh, spawn village, and I will see you uh, when I get there to drop off my junk. Ah, it's night time. Okay, back on the surface. I see a cow. This is very useful because I need some food. That's a sunflower. I thought it was a zombie in armor for a moment. 
Ah, there it is. Okay. Now, oh, ooh, there's a sheep in there. Black wool as well. And food, of course. Right, let's lay claim to one of these lovely houses. That's a farm. There's a chicken and an egg. Alright, that is already someone's house. That's sluggish golf. Is this someone's house? This looks like someone's house. I think. I don't know, there's nothing in there. Oh, people breeding donkeys and stuff. I, d I just want a humble little house in this town. Just a little one. Burgasm's Bunk. The Vescular Cave. Raving Raven's Temporary Love Shack. Well, look at that. There. He has been doing the stuff. Um, oh yeah, I don't have any room. <laughs> For food. Free saddles. I need to find me a house. This is the home of Yurata, the one true Danish Viking. This is taken, I think. Just a perfectly normal house. <gasps> it's a shrine to the melon! P Please feel free to take the house. It's a bit too small for me. Praise the melon! Praise. Praise the melon. Ah. Has Milby been here or something? I need to find me a building to, to steal. I mean, uh, claim as my own. Out of order? Oh, wow. Okay. What's that? A toilet or something? Oh, well, there's a little house over there. Look at that. That looks awesome. I could build an out-of-town house, I guess. Mr. Pyro 96. Where's the house for me? <gasps> is this one? I think this is someone's stuff. Yep. That's someone's stuff. People have been on here for like a couple of weeks already, so they've been quite busy. <gasps> is this house an empty house? <gasps> it's an empty house! It's going to be my house. Right, we need to make some things. There's already a crossing bench in here. So that means I can keep that and then make my own. Let's make a sign. So that I can proclaim my, proclaim my love for this small little building. Okay. Oct. Ergonol. Oh, I've got caps lock on. When did that happen? Octag. Oh no. Pause. Supreme. Uh. Box. Of. Ultimate. That's not how you spell ultimate. Ultimate. Uh. <laughs> of ultimate. Brilliance. Yeah. Cool. Now let's put all my junk, I mean awesome, cool records in here. Oh, I can make a bow. So let's do that. String! What the hell? Yes. A useful bow. Oh, my emeralds. Yeah. Need to keep those as well. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for the first episode today. I hope you enjoyed that. And next episode, I'm hopefully going to start actually building some awesomeness. See ya!